officers of the county board, the ladies board, the community board, managers of the various teams, friends, players, supporters, great to have you here tonight, right? Um, the idea of the photograph, Sean and Brian's going to take a photograph, and you know it's an important photograph, because as Tracy said, it was a important gathering. Now there was some debate at our board meeting whether or not we'd have Aiden here tonight. It might take the focus of what the main purpose is. And somebody said to me, Ted, would you mind following Aiden? I said, not a bother, not a bother. Because <laughs> while someone's never good physically or emotionally, you know, confidence was never a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's to break the, you know, to, to break the ice a small bit. Look, the reality of the situation, the main focus is here tonight is to talk about <coughs> membership and our website. Now, there are people, just, by the way, that was, oh, where is he? Yeah. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> because look, not only was your daughter asking what you were doing, there was a lot of people asking what exactly is your job, right? And I tell you one thing, we're very confident after tonight, and fair play to the county board for, you know, having the vision to take the step, and fair play as well, you know, to the incoming officers who had that vision and foresight to appoint you. And we'll, we'll be keeping an eye on you, we'll be checking on you as well, all right? For well done, all right? So look, just by the way, building on Cox J legacy, look, the reality of the situation, okay, that's our vision. Some of you have heard this before. I'm not going to repeat everything. Basically, we want to be winning all areas of the year. That's what we want to do. At all levels, we want to be winning all areas. Some of us were raised on that. Others, some of the younger people here, went through kind of famines that we couldn't really understand. And currently we're going through a bit of famine in board hurling and football. We want to be competing every year. Why shouldn't we be better than Dublin? Why shouldn't we be better than Kilkenny, I suppose, who've been the standard bearers in, in hurling? There's nobody, really, that has the base or the support that Cork has. And we're a little disappointed with our performance down through the years. And it was a number of former players, really, from football initially, you know, Sean O'Brien, Twinning Nation, Conor McCarthy, I suppose they were the drivers, they came together, all former players. Then we had Tomas, Kieran Kingston came on board, and then, in fairness, we had very committed supporters, like Dermot Lynch, you know, manager, Bank of Ireland, South Mali, as better things possibly doing with his time, and then we have great support in the background, we're delighted enough, for example, to like some Michael O'Flynn here tonight, because there are people in business who want <coughs> to support us as well, but we want to, we want to succeed, basically. Who are we? Um, you know, look, that's who we are originally, we're not photographing taken at the launch, I'm not going to name call people, I'm just going to in the middle. Between <laughs> 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 Reed and Tracy, um, right, and so look, basically, passionate GA supporters is run on a voluntary basis in full compliant and transparent manner, and I make reference to that, providing direct support to the teams in addition to support to the Cork County Board. Let's be honest, nobody fooled. It's the Cork County Board support the teams, right? The top who spending 1.7 million, I know was that last year, or certainly the year before, we we'll see what the accounts say this year, that's major money. Carla Cushley won't be spending that kind of money. We realise that we can, that it's teams are about the Cork County Board, we're there to help the Cork County Board. We speak initially about how we were independent of the Cork County Board. We now talk about how we're aligned with the Cork County Board because we're all working together to achieve. Right? And um, this, from the last photograph, some people have said if I join the Carla County, you can go places. Conor Coon and Karen Kingston, all right? So they are now gone from that photograph. Sorry for the slag that, all right? So recently, uh, Joanne O'Reilly joined us there last week. Look, passionate supporter, um, activist, journalist. So um, Joanne joined us. Owen Weldon comes from a PR background, Nemo background. Um, so he's come on to help us with uh, communications. And you know most of the others that were there from the start. Um, Rena then is there all the time to remind us because some of us can be made sure of at times that we're also there to support the ladies, hurling, uh, camogie and football. Murray Davis then, um, Skibreen background, given the name Davis, head of Google Marketing Solutions in Ireland. So it's a fairly high-powered board in fairness. Um, this is important 
given some of the stuff we've heard recently about Mayo supporters and club in particular, and I suppose even Galway without being mentioning other company boards, but it's company limited by guarantee. All money is raised going to one bank account, expenditure is discharged, directly released to Cork County Board, you can read it yourselves, and then there's a fair degree of financial oversight. Between John O'Flynn, retired tax partner of Delight, in a, with a much bigger pension even than my own. Sean O'Brien, accountant, most days, currently, flagship manager, Bank of Ireland, South Mall. That means he's more important than the ordinary manager of the Bank of Ireland, South Mall. And Tom Kenny is there as well. All right, so we have four accountants there. But this is very important because we are dealing with other people's money. And when you're dealing with other people's money, you've got to be careful. Like we've had you know, detailed discussions with revenue, we've had detailed discussions with the Ireland Fund and the Irish American Partnership in New York, so that people in America, for example, who are, you know, who are contributing, aren't contributing in brown envelopes, full compliance with American tax and with Irish tax. So, yeah, it's a fairly powerful group, and we're lucky to have the likes of those people in particular involved and can keep us on the straight mm -hmm. now. So, look, short term goals and the medium. The long-term goals don't really differ all that much. Cox senior hurling and football teams, ladies and gents in particular, <coughs> are a particular focus, obviously. Provision of training facilities for Cox teams, I mentioned a bit more about that. Support for underage coaching structures and personnel. Mullinoiga, August Chugichi. So look, we want to ensure that we're putting in place proper structures at underage level, which would feed like Aidan spoke to, into success then at senior level. So support for all Cork teams. Now, look, we've, be, we've gone beyond the stage, for example. You know, I was involved myself in one of the biggest deals, one of my deal breakers this year, one year, to stay involved with the Cork senior horrors, without all the players we've been supplying with runners, right? We've gone beyond that stage now at this stage, supplying with runners. But at the same time, there are supports that, for one reason or another, the county board might say, lads, with all, in all fairness, we can't go that far. We agree with it, however, because, you know, we discuss our expenditure with the county board. But if Carter County can come in and support that, well and good. And so, so we direct support for the teams. But again, most of that is done by the Carter County board. And Ronan would have told me last year, and John Moyle would have told me, that they weren't really for one thing when it came to support. And I know that, you know, Bobby and Keith and... Um, the other man, John Constantine and others would say the same thing. The county board established high performance training facilities for all Cork teams. Now look, one of the areas that we've decided to concentrate on is facilities. Because those, I'm looking at many guys around here who played hurling and football with Cork, and the reality of the situation is, you know, And this is until recently, we could be told on a Tuesday night, as we're training, we're not sure yet. We're trying to get a pitch in January, in February, in March. That's a problem. So we have seen this as a particular priority. We do hope, we look, we've looked at the possibility of building our own centre of excellence, going away by 50 acres somewhere, building a centre of excellence. We've looked at the capital costs of same, and even more, the maintenance of same, and we've looked at the reality worldwide, we've looked at Munster Rugby, we've looked at Leinster Rugby, we looked at Ulster Rugby, and we've identified that a tie-up with UCC, CIT, and there's room for both, and we have looked at what they have to offer. We do realise that maybe more is needed than what UCC, and I'm delighted that we have representatives of both UCC and CIT here, to, here tonight. We've had you know, discussions even this afternoon with, 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 with UCC, Morgan is here from UCC, and um, UCC have huge plans for development, open Corraheen, and CIT also have big plans on their side, and we want to work with those. But beyond that, without giving too much of it tonight, we are in discussions with another body with a view to providing pitches in the Cork area which easily um, available in terms of East Cork, North Cork, West Cork, and South Cork. And this is where we're going to have to ramp up in terms of our fundraising efforts. Because it will cost money to provide maybe four or five pitches where 
the minors can see the senior hurlers training. You know, the under 20 footballers can see the senior footballers training. And we believe that by people working together in the type of cooperative atmosphere that Aidan has described, that if we can get a facility like that, and we are in detailed discussions, and you know, it's almost coming towards um, decision time now, but we're delighted to be able to say that that is where we're going at the moment, <coughs> that will require bots, no two way about it. Right? Longer term underage coaching structures and car. We've identified at an early stage, and the county board won't mind admitting this, and Rebel Oak will admit it as well, that look, the number of games development officers or coaches in car compared to other counties is low is very low. That is something that the County Board have recognised, Rebel Oak have recognised, and we've said that any support that we can give in that particular area, we're interested in doing. And hopefully there will be some announcements in that regard in the near future. And then we are trying to establish a broader network of COP supporters around the world. I mentioned um, the lads who got involved for stay. Look, they made contact, the contact was made with you know, a very good friend of ours in Chicago, Simon Allen. His dad is here tonight. And we do realize that there is money, possibly in America, in England, in Australia, that mightn't be as ready to be available in Ireland. So we want to tap into that. Um, and again, thanks to those players who went out to San Francisco, Chicago, Boston, recently, Noel O'Leary, Connor and I went to New York to set up a scene in New York, and what we also did in New York at that stage is we brought people together from San Francisco, from Chicago, from Boston, to form a broad network of support out there, and to advise us. Rather than we telling them what we wanted, they were able to say, lads, this would fly, this won't fly. And another thing that we would be hoping to do, maybe, is to identify one or two, you know, some major hitters in the business world, who might be able to do with J.P. McManus or whatever, what he's doing in Limerick, we would hope that that would happen in Cork as well. So if any of you know people, and I'm serious about this, if any of you know people in that kind of bracket, let us know. Let us know. So look, tonight we're launching a website and we're also launching then a membership registration. Because outside of the corporates, there are people out there, and you would be amazed the amount of people who stopped me in the street in the last 12 months and said, how do we join this crack? How do we join Carter Corky? There are people out there who would like to be involved. They want Cork to be successful. You go down to a National League match, maybe the football has fallen in recent years, but you go down to a National League match, you know, in the month of February, and you have 7,000 Cork people below them. That doesn't really happen outside of Mayo football. I don't think that happens in too many other places. So there's a huge groundswell of support out there. And the website then, look, one of the criticisms that we have got from New York, and even from some of our own guys who've traveled out, sorry, not in New York, but in the USA generally, and people who travel out is communication. Now, we're all voluntary. Sean O'Brien is a huge worker secretary of this organization. So we've decided we do need a website. We're on Facebook, though, we're on Instagram for those people who are more tech savvy than Aidan O'Connell, right? Check them out. We're on Twitter, but also our website has been launched, officially launched now, and people can join up going in to the membership registration and this sign up. They are the individual membership then, right? Or they're the various categories. So look, 50 euros. You join Club Tyrone and they tell you, lads, you're paying 15 euros to try and make sure that Tyrone win all Ireland. There's no benefits as a result. We've looked at other county boards, oh, sorry, other supporters clubs. So what, look, they're not going to go through everything. The old baseball hats, they were there. People are at the robbery them already. Um, texting of Cox in, I'm only slagging you there, Simon. Sorry, but I will sign Paul, send back the caps there, will you? No, they're going, they're going to Chicago. Texting of Cox in, the football teams. And uh, we are in discussion with Joe Blake about that. Uh, Brendan Cummins, thanks very much. Brendan's here tonight. 20% discount on Cork Gear Cummins Sports, except when the items are for sale. As when they're reduced to a euro, it's hard to get, you know, money <laughs> off. But thanks very much. Draw from Ascot for senior hurling and football games, uh, senior camogie and senior ladies football. Um, 
we then hope that people who do buy up that they have access to a training session every now and then with you know where the end of family members can meet the players and then draw for tickets. You can read that yourself. Corporate silver option to buy two tickets for Cork Senior to County Championship games, including the All Ireland Finals if Cork are in the senior final. Somebody from a small club mentioned to me there recently that they never realised how hard it is to get tickets for All Ireland Finals. If you're in the Glen or the Bears or Black Rock or whatever, you'd notice it's very hard to buy tickets. All right, so you know at least you have the option to buy two tickets, right? Membership of Cork Jail Clubs draw. One free pass to all men's, all men's adding championship matches in Cork. Recognition of Cork membership in the Cork Board the website. Access to benefits to individual members and so on. Obviously, everything will post there. They have done there. And that's none of this would be possible without discussions with the executive of Cork County Board and they agree to these things. And look, lads, without being critical, there's been a change of mindset and well done and thanks to the current executive. Corporate Gold includes everything in the 1,000 corporate membership, two complimentary tickets for both the, the All Ireland Senior Hurling and Senior Football Finals, an invitation for a group of 10 to a Corporate event in 2020. Look, like we're hoping to get about 100 in this particular membership thing. And it's going to be hard. And that's one of the reasons why we're here tonight. Like, there are Cork people throughout the world and in Cork City who are involved at a major level in various corporations. When we went to New York recently, we would have met the head of the Ireland Fund. And no, obviously, we're not going to be in the Ireland Fund category. But, you know, we're asking them, actually, the same chap, nice bloke, David Cronin, was involved, and still is involved with Monster Rugby. But, like, they're raising hundreds of millions every year and distributing it. We're not saying that we're going to be raising hundreds of millions, but at the same time, we believe that everybody here could possibly say, you know, I know somebody who works there in Bellamigash, Co-op, or whatever. They'd love to be part of that. So we want to use you, and we want you to tell us, look, that person in Ireland, in Dublin, in London, in New York, in Chicago, they're worth chasing. And they may well, as an individual, or they may well, they may well be in companies who have been prepared to, to do that. So look, that's it. Really appreciate you being here tonight. And we want to try and drive on from here because we really need, we really need to raise funds. Otherwise, the likes of me and the board could end up in jail. All right? With some commitments that we've already made and we'll continue to make. So, go to me, Margaret.